I'm Dr. Ramey Shunning. And I'm Chef Jennifer Brewer, and we're the creators of Cleanse Organic. We created Cleanse Organic after teaching cleansing together for over five years. And we would have people come to us and really just tell us horror stories of their past experiences with War cleansing. Stories. War stories. Really, yes. they really were. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell you the three biggest mistakes that we find people make while they're cleansing and also what makes our program unique. So the first one is that they choose a program that is completely unsustainable. Right. So they choose something that's an event instead mm -hmm. of a program. So whether you're drinking lemonade and not eating, or you're just having juices, or you're only having one meal a day, um, it's something that you really can't bring into your life after the event. Right. You, I mean, the question is, would you have any intention of carrying this out once the program was over? And in most cases, the answer is no, right. because you cannot wait to get back to eating some real food. Right, and kind of fall right back into your old stuff because, right. oh my God, you just can't wait for a pizza and a beer by the time you've been drinking lemonade for two weeks. Right, and right. then you're like, oh, I need another cleanse. So right, now, which right. is great for the cleanse industry. But the truth of the matter is, is that we wanted to provide something that was going to give you more than just what benefits you might get during an event. We wanted to give you something that was going to give you the skills to actually move forward in your life and make changes that were going to make your life better and keep you healthier. Right. And that really leads right into the second biggest mistake, which is they choose not to focus on food at all. Right. In fact, they actually try to pretend that the food part doesn't matter. I mean, this is a big deal when you can do a cleansing program and you don't even have to change your diet. Like, that's something that should be exciting. I mean, from our perspective, that's a big red flag. Right. Or you don't have to even worry about eating at all, right. which is another big red flag. I think the idea is that, you know, food got me into this mess. Right. So why don't you just pretend it doesn't exist or not eat or fast or something right. and then somehow that's supposed to solve all of your food right. problems. And it's kind of like ignoring the gigantic elephant in the room, mm -hmm. you know, because, uh, you know, it's you and food got you into this. So it's time to recreate your relationship with food right. so you're not having to get yourself out of it all the time. Right. Yeah. And by focusing on whole foods and learning how to make them taste delicious, that's a skill that you can carry on once the program is over. Right. So really food becomes, instead of like food is always the bad guy, food becomes the good guy, food becomes what allows you to feel amazing yes. in your body. Yes. When you shift that way, yes. it's like, you mean I can still have food in my life, still love it, still have a lot of joy around it and feel great? Right. Sign me up. That's where it's at. And, and that's where Jenny comes in. I mean, she has created the most delicious, diverse array of recipes that <laughs> will just keep you and your family wanting to keep eating like this. You will be amazed at how amazing, healthy, I said amazing twice in that sentence, but that's how amazing it is. That's you will be amazed how amazing this amazing food is. That is so amazing. <laughs> yeah, you will be amazed. And, and you know, we, we've said it before, but when you learn skills like this, you can carry them on and knowing how to make healthy food taste good as simple as that sounds, can be life-changing. Mm -hmm.